Hello pool players, Ron here. Got a great shot I want to share with you today. This is Pool IQ at its finest. This shot came up last night. I was practicing nine ball. I had broke a rack, ended up with the one ball hanging on the side, but the seven kind of got in the way. And I needed to shoot and make the one, but get on the two. That was the, the key to this shot. I kind of felt I could make the one, so I set up a camera to see if I could do it. And I did it in one take, but I got lucky on my shape. Some of you may have seen that in uh, on my YouTube short that I had posted. But I sent that YouTube short down to a friend of mine in Florida, Tony Robles. And he is a pool pro and he says, you know what, Ron, good execution, good shot, love the shot. It was, in fact, he said it was his favorite shot. He said, but hit it lighter. You don't have to hit it so hard. So I've been experimenting with that and I thought I would share it with you because it's such a powerful little shot. So we're gonna just hit the one dead center. That's the key, we don't have to cut the one, just dead center and get the pace just right. You don't even have to hit it hard. You got a nice cut, we easily get on the four. Four is there next. So now, let's see if we can bring it back just a little further. So that was a very light hit. Now I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more pace. Once again, hit dead center. And see that, how it's coming right down towards it? It's, it's automatic. The shot is automatic. So now let's shoot it a third way. Now I want to use the bottom cushion. Look at that. I mean, perfect. And you can easily shoot the two in and get your shape. Now also, if you see an object ball that's close to a cushion like that, and you need to gain shape, let's say you're playing maybe even a safety, by double kissing it, recognize what just happened here. The cue ball is gonna jet away and the ball that you're hitting is gonna stay right where it's at because there's no pocket there. It's just gonna freeze right there. What a great safety that would be, right? So let's take a close up look at what's happening here. Now that's fast pace, but let's look at a slow motion and see how this double kiss occurs. It's the double kiss that actually sends the cue ball back to where it needs to go. And here's a fantastic view. And remember how I said this shot would be great as a safety? Well, here I'm just hitting straight away and watch how the cue ball comes right straight back. Notice here that I experimented by marking the locations so I could duplicate the shot. And what I learned is that I could actually cut this ball to manipulate the travel path for both the cue ball and the object ball with surprisingly accurate results. So now that we've learned how to shoot this wonderful shot, let's see if I can pull off this run out after I've pocketed that tough shot. Notice I got the perfect angle to get back up table for the four ball and the rest is history. I want to take this time to thank my friend Tony Robles for sharing his insight on this wonderful shot. I want to say this as well, if Tony is ever in your area, you need to put him in front of you because he's such a wealth of knowledge and he's so easily understood as he gives his training. Pros like Tony are invaluable to this sport. If we can get them to share their ideas with us, we'll become a better player faster. Thanks for watching everyone. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll answer everyone. And until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.